we're back with the third video in the series for doing some puzzles on chess.com. And we're at 1400, and it looks like White's having some back rank issues. Yeah, Queen pins that. Seems like we should just be able to do this. And you go, well, he's defending everything, he's got a fortress. Does he? Does he? All right. King's in a good spot. I don't really care about the extra knight when I can just mate you. Looks good. If I check and you push, I check, you block. I take, you cry. Uh, survey says. That'll do. Okay. Queen by herself can't do all the work. All right. Don't make your lady work too hard. I want to get the bishop involved first and foremost. All right, so this looks like a lot of free stuff. Not much to think about there. And how about I take the B? Oh yeah, that's mate. Natural, effective. Invite everyone to the party. Okay, if I can figure out a way to not be checked, we just win. So survey says first reaction, I don't want to drop my queen, so I'm gonna go here. Okay, you're checking me. But it seems like if I come here, okay, so now I actually try to think in the position to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, so first idea is if I go here, check, blocks, check, and we have a bit of a annoying situation. So I want to go queen here, where the only check that black has is here. So I block, which in turn puts him in check, forcing the trade of queens and winning the game. Or you just do that and lose. That's good too, as long as you let me win. King and queen are on a landmine. I like knights. I like them a lot. Okay. How now? Okay, what's the most forcing way to do this? I don't readily see this one. Something to do with checkmating the king. These are the types of problems that I need more often because honestly, they just don't happen in my middle games. They don't. So if they're not happening in the games that I play all the time because I play Fianchetto structures and you don't exactly assault the king too often when you're just playing solid chess. You miss these. But it goes really well for the people who do nothing but attack all the time. And if you don't attack and succeed, you lose in end games. So they see it immediately. Wow, how come he doesn't just see this? Um, yeah. It's a shame.
Okay, one line that I would probably play in a real game is queen takes f6, rook g7, rook g4, rook a to g8, rook takes g7, rook takes g7, rook d1, with the idea of rook d8, but he's got knight c6. But then, yeah. And rook h4 immediately, I just see rook g7. Let's go with the check. What am I missing? Rook g4 is still my first reaction here. Okay, but like, I don't really consider this a tactic, it's just like playing moves. All right, yeah, we, okay, we take a piece for free. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I actually want to like. But what is what is this? I, I want to show lines or something. Okay, rook g8. And see, here's where the actual tactic is. Like this is a position where I, I had no idea what to do here. That's why I was pausing earlier because I was visualizing this position and I saw no breakthrough. And there's two. Rook f3 or rook f4. You gotta get everybody in the party. Rook f3 makes more sense. This gets in the way of the other rooks. Okay, let's try that. And then queen d7. Threatening back rank problems. So h3 makes a lot of sense. Queen d1 check, king h2. Queen d8, trying to trade queens. And now rook takes g7. So let's not put the queen there. Do we have anything else? Queen takes f3. Queen d6 check makes a lot of sense, but we've got rook f to g3, where finally all you've got is black is sacrificing because we're going to take here and win. Okay, so this is the type of thing that certain tactics problems are just garbage because I feel like the actual tactic was here, so it should go a little bit further, and that's why. All right, hopefully we're learning. Okay, so let's keep going now. Uh, first reaction, we're in check. E5, I want the queen to move so I can check, and then we have that type of stuff, so E5. Check there first, g3 takes, stuff's happening. Looks like I could take and take. And that gets the win. King's in a tight spot. That would win. If this guy wasn't here, we can't take that guy. But if I do this and then use the other piece to checkmate him, that seems to work pretty well and it's very forcing. So let's do that. Scary, 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 very scary.
got to be winning that. And see, again, this is where it actually starts as a tactic. Because how do you deal with queen e6 check? Uh-huh. And I said rook f7. But then on here, you have to be careful because that loses because of check. And how do we stop the checks? This is like the, the full problem. How do you find a spot right here where you stop checks? And queen g7 was my immediate reaction. But king f8 makes a lot of sense. I, I want to get off of a, a light square. I don't want to drop my rook. So king f8 would be if I didn't have a lot of time to think. And we're just moseying. until we can get to a safe spot, which is here. Now, the end. Okay, so it should have been something like that was, was the full problem because I don't think it's trivial to figure out, especially if you're playing a blitz or bullet game, how to get the king safe in that type of scenario. But uh, I focus on technique. Uh, I digress. All right, let's get to 1600, shall we? I want to play that. That seems like a good place to start. If we don't do something drastic, yeah, like these are threats that are looming in the air because of our king is in a coffin. So other idea is check immediately, but it doesn't seem nearly as forcing. He can just take with the king, and then where's my follow-up? So, looks like we got a sack. Oh, first wrong one of the set. So, let's try to get it right. Oh, yeah, the pin. Same thing, different execution. All right, let's start a new streak. Uh, back rank. Uh, bait. Uh huh. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. Back rank mate stuff again. Uh huh. Looking hard to to breathe. Boss man. All right. So we got 1600 in that set. And of course, as we get higher rating, we're going to be able to move less and less with the chain. And I'm trying to keep them between, say, 10 and 20 minutes each of these tactics videos. And hopefully, you're doing the work with me as every time a new problem opens, that you're pausing to try to see the pattern and definitely working out with me if. Uh, you don't see it immediately. All right, on to the next one.